Hey guys, it's me, Kimberly Clark. Welcome back to my channel. I did these nails a couple days ago, and I'm happy to say they are wearing really, really well, thanks to my Julep Freedom top coat. Ooh, ooh. If you want to see how I got this look, stay tuned, because I've got a little tutorial coming up right now. Yay! <laughs> So after I've prepped my nails, I'm going to do two coats of a white jelly polish. I'm using Essie's Marshmallow for this tutorial. If you want to see how I do all my nail prep and apply base coat, then check out my first rainbow ombre glitter nail tutorial. I'm going to do two coats of this polish. If I were exclusively wearing this polish, I would need three coats to make it completely opaque, but two coats is plenty for our purposes because we're going to be doing a lot of art on top of this. And I let it dry completely. I'm using a little fan to speed this process along. Then I'm going to go in with Butter London's Champers. This is a beautiful champagne gold metallic polish with some kind of holographic specks of glitter in it. And using a fan brush and a little tray palette, I'm going to kind of randomly swipe on splotches of this color. I'm going for a very organic, brushed kind of abstract look. Turning the fan brush as you paint on different splotches kind of gives it a little bit more organic, random effect and keeps it from looking too uniform. Then I'm going to go in with Chanel's Lily, but you can use any cream coral colored polish. And I'm going to go in with a dotting tool and make some molecules. All I'm doing is dotting around in a circle and then filling in the center to kind of make a circle that is larger than the diameter of the dotting tool. A little tip that I found with using the dotting tool is to make sure there's enough polish on the end of the tool. So you're not really painting like you would with a brush, you're actually just placing little dots of polish on the surface of the nail. If the polish is too thin, then you're not going to be able to get those very defined edges of whatever shape you're creating. You're really taking advantage of the surface tension of that polish on top of the nail. So those are my little coral dots. Then I'm going to take a good old black striping polish. You could also just use regular black nail polish and use a striping brush. And I'm going to outline each of those molecules. Now, I'm not really worrying about being super clean and precise with this because I kind of want it to feel like a hand-painted, very organic look. Then I'm going to draw some straight lines perpendicular to those curved outlines. And some of them I'm going to connect to other molecules, and some of them I'm going to just take out over the free edge of the nail. I'm trying to vary up the directions that I draw the lines from nail to nail, and I'm kind of thinking of the whole set of nails as one composition. A little tip I found for drawing straight lines with a striper brush is to have a low angle of the brush to the nail so that you're really pulling the brush and holding it in the direction that you're drawing the line, really using the length of that brush. If you want to do detail work, it's sometimes better to hold the brush perpendicular to the nail, but for lines, it's much better if you have that low angle. Then I'm going to take some acetone on an ELF liner brush, and I'm going to clean up all the edges. Finally, I'm going to top coat. You can use any top coat, but I am using Julep's Freedom top coat. This is a great polymer gel top coat, but it doesn't require a special UV light to cure. Basically, you just use this as you would any top coat. Make sure to coat the free edge of the nail. And instead of curing it with a UV light, you just cure it under any lamp, like a, a light bulb, or out in direct sunlight for just a couple minutes, and it will cure as hard and strong as a gel manicure would. So that is the finished look. Yay! Chic, coral, and white chemistry-inspired nails. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm Kimberly Clark. Bye.